Hi, I'm Irene Jones from Marshall and Sterling Campground and Hospitality Insurance Program. This is part of our Campground Leadership Series. And today we're going to talk about a difficult to topic, um, child abuse at your park. Um, child abuse can come in various different ways. It can come from uh, parents who are uh, beating or abusing their children. It can also come from, um, you know, people who are uh, sex traffickers who are have a child with them who come who are transients to stay at the park. So sexual abuse or physical abuse are the two categories we're talking about. Nobody wants that. Uh, we want to make sure the kids are safe. What do you do? Well, if you witness something and it's ongoing, you're going to obviously call the authorities right away and let them investigate. Um, but if you have, if you suspect something's going on, or if some of your campers come to you and say, we witness this, or we suspect this, and here's why. What do you do next? So, first of all, take an incident report from the uh, other campers who are reporting what's going on, so that you have a record of what they're saying. And if they're coming to you as a management, it's okay for you to report it. Um, what I would suggest is every state has a division of uh, child and family services. You can look it up on the internet. There should be a hotline, a tip line that you can call into. And you don't have to feel like you're making some sort of false allegation because somebody came to you and made the complaint. You're basically just responsible to pass on information for the safety of the children that, you know, we suspect that something might be going on. This is what one of the campers witnessed. This is the statement that they gave to us that they witnessed. So that you're just being very straightforward. Um, you're not being judgmental. Um, it's not your job to investigate. It's the job of Division of uh, Family and Children to investigate. Um, unfortunately, um, you know, some uh, uptake in uh, child trafficking has occurred and people might uh, target a campground as a place to say, stay as you know, the transient going in and out. So, you know, that might be one area. The other area that I've seen complaints about is just parents that are out of control physically it could even be like it started out as discipline and then it crossed the line. Um, and again, that's not your job. So a spanking can get out of control or someone who's had too much to drink might um, strike their child or something like that or strike, strike their, their spouse even. So those types of things, again, if it's in action, you're gonna call the police. If it's something that um, is ongoing or that's after the fact, it's okay to report that in. You're, you know, there, most states have immunity laws regarding this. Um, other things that you can do to be proactive uh, in, in your leadership role at the campground is um, most states will um, offer um, mandated reporting classes. It's getting bigger and bigger in the hospitality industry, so that's something that you can consider as well. Um, and lastly, if a child comes to you and confides in you, um, don't press them for details. Um, don't, you don't want to make them feel awkward, um, but just tell them, I believe you, and then report it in. Um, and, and finally, one last thing is don't approach the parents because if there is something going on, it could put the children more at risk and you would never want to do that. So it's a difficult topic, um, but just remember to gather information, um, report it accordingly, and know that the authorities will be putting children first and they'll just investigate it. Um, it's the best thing for everybody involved.